India has a long tradition of using natural herbal remedies, which still flourishes today. Ayurveda is the main system of healing in India. Unani Tib, a traditional Arabic medicine, and Sita from Sri Lanka are also major traditions. Ayurveda is a way of life and not just a system of medicine, as it also encompasses science, religion and philosophy. The aim is to promote self-realization with a harmonious relationship with all living things, mainly through yoga and meditation. Centuries ago, civilizations of the East and West were linked by trade routes, which led to the exchange of ideas in medicines, medicinal plants and medicinal practices, and spiritual enlightenment. Knowledge and wisdom was handed down from generation to generation and was eventually written in Sanskrit around 1500 years BC. The first Ayurvedic medical school was founded in 400 BC by Punavasu Atreya. This influenced Sharaka, who wrote the Sharaka Samhita in 100 years BC, which describes over 300 plant, animal and mineral medicines. The Sanasta Samhita was written around the same time and gives detailed knowledge of surgeries, including plastic surgery, which is still consulted today. Ayurveda is a system based on mind, body and spirit, where energy and matter are one. There are five elements to energy, being air, fire, water, earth and ether, which together form the basis of matter. In the body, ether is present in the mouth, lungs, thorax, abdomen and digestive tract. Air is in the movements of muscles, the lungs, the heart, the digestive tract and the nervous system. Fire is in the digestive system, the metabolism, the body temperature, the vision and the intelligence. Water is in the digestive juices, the salivary glands, the mucous membranes and the blood and cytoplasm. Earth is the nails, hair, skin, bones, cartilage, muscles and tendons. These are effectively the five senses which are hearing, touch, vision, taste and smell. The five elements form three basic forces known as the three dosh, which exist everywhere in the universe. Vata is created from ether and air, Pita is created from fire and water, and Kapha is created from earth and water. These correspond closely to Tibetan medicine and also to Galen's four humours. In Ayurveda, we are all born with a balance of dosha, which are determined by the dosha of our parents at the time of our conception. If the balance is upset, then the result is illness. Disease may also occur if there is a disruption to the flow of energy around the body. These are the chakra points, and when they are blocked, then the likelihood of illness increases. Remedies can be taken in pills, powders, balms, infusions and poultices and may contain several ingredients which are balanced to individual needs. Massages, enemas and washes might be part of the treatment, and oil, incense, crystals and stones may be used to balance the mind and the emotions, including meditation, breathing exercise and the chanting of mantras. In the 19th century, Ayurveda was dismissed and even ridiculed, and Ayurvedic schools were closed as the practice was banned. The knowledge then retreated into villages and temples until 1947 when India gained independence and it regained its reputation as a valid medical system once again. Today Ayurveda along with Unani Tib is even encouraged by the Indian government. It seeks to reconcile health and lifestyle with universal aspects of existence while enhancing well-being and thankfully and happily it is flourishing. <laughs>